I know. It's, I, I'm born in the Netherlands and I moved uh, in, 90, in, in 2004 to the States. I lived for five years in Washington State. I had a blast of a time and we moved uh, in 2009 to Florida to set up a, our own business. So it's a quite of a journey we went through. I will, in the webinar, I will uh, come back to that. Hey, good morning, Kerry. So you went uh, to the Netherlands or so? Or are you from Canada and you have some? Oh, South Africa, yes. Yeah, nice people over there. Okay, I think um, it's 8 o'clock and uh, let's start uh, the, the webinar. Thank you all so much to join the training webinar. Uh, I uh, sent out the, the invitation yesterday and today a reminder and in Facebook group, so I really uh, feel pleased that you uh, could make it on a Sunday. I don't feel as no, uh, that normal, but I think that shows you are dedicated to uh, to uh, to get successful and uh, I appreciate that so who I am so I'm 14 years old and I doing uh, quite a bit of internet marketing since 2009 I managed multiple multiple, multiple uh, online business about 50 now and I have spent more than a million in Google AdWords. So Google AdWords is, uh, is you know, my specialty. But when, in, uh, when I prospect in business, I always uh, tell, you know, what I do is that I, I, make, uh, I help you to make money and uh, via online. And it can be, you know, can Google Places, it can be Google AdWords, all what is needed to make that business money, but I'm very good in Google AdWords, so most time it, it ends up to doing that too. Once everything else is fixed, so they have good reviews in Google Places and all those kind of things, because reputation is the base. Um, so our, we moved in 2004 to the United States. Actually, I had a, I had a pretty uh, good well-paid job at the Daft Trucks in Eindhoven and Pakar is the model uh, company uh, bought uh, Daft in, in 1996 and, and Pakar in the States needed engine testing experience and uh, I felt that I was ready for an other, um, other uh, adventure in my life and I never talked in the past that I would ever visit the United States so it came on my path and I took that op opportunity and I was from project to build a new engine testing facility commission it, hire on team and train it in. so that was a five year assignment and we loved that so much that at find that in 2009 um, the assignment was done and Daf wanted me to back uh, to the, the Netherlands and I felt I was not ready for that. And I, I'm raised at a farm and I always wanted to be more independent. So we decided to set up our own business and we bought a franchise and we moved to Florida to set up that up. So after many, many years, we are a happy family, uh, two healthy children doing very well. I'm very proud of them. So this is my uh, son uh, Stefan and daughter Laura and my wife Henrika. Uh, I think from half year ago picture. So my daughter couldn't play volleyball in August uh, last year. She couldn't hit a ball. And now she joined the team. She's 12 years old and they beat teams from 16 years old in only a couple of months. She trains a couple of uh, 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 
couple of times a week and she has in the weekend she has in gay games. My son Stefan uh, loves fishing and you know in the ocean in in, in Florida uh, a lot of people went before us and there are hardly any fish to catch and um, so he kept trying the crab net and eventually he he can he catch a very large fish and he was so happy with it. Um, he uh, you know in the United States in middle school you have an elective class and he chose music and this year he was elected as second best of the state oh, from, from the county from the county second best of the county only by his dedication to practice and I did I didn't even know a couple of weeks ago that such a word exists but he had only a uh, high uh, high ace ace in his middle school period and he got an award with an all ace award so in the Netherlands it's, it doesn't exist but in the States it does but it shows you know if you have dedication to achieve something you 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 get honored for that this is my wife Enrique in her uh, local business, which she set up in, uh, which we together set up in 2009, and uh, all, also by her dedication, there are more than 125 uh, franchises. And last month, in April, she had the highest revenue, and we always in the top. So my goal was to serve the local businesses as much as you can and I can show you all those review testimonials but a couple of you guys probably know uh, Google AdWords and that the quality score is very important and to achieve it then is the, the best how you can how you, uh, what you can achieve so when was my turning point in the online marketing uh, world that was in 2009 when I joined an, uh, an uh, event and had some personal training for uh, I think it was more than 10 days with top marketers and that was the starting point to uh, learn Brian Anderson uh, to meet him uh, he is really really a nice guy very noticeable very reasonable to uh, speak with no, no no bullshit, only things what works, and I, and I have weekly contact with Brian, and we do many many good things. Some guys uh, probably know Tina and Trish, who um, are very very good in uh, social marketing, and when you speak with them, um, yeah, Tina and Trish are great. I, uh, uh, I agree, and um, they really care about their members. Everything what they do, they put the question mark: How, what will our members help with? You know, they see you as customer. They want to treat you well. They don't offer products, but you you know to sell. They offer something that helps you in your business, and they are really uh, nice, honest people. Ibrahim Rose is the co-owner co of JVZU. He he likes uh, to make jokes, but has a really good heart and um, help uh, help local markets like me. Um, Mike Lance, uh, I, I met him now a couple of times. Um, in, in the beginning, uh, he was a little bit on distance, but once he get to know you, he's a really nice, down to earth person and gives you also advice how to. Um, how to uh, how to market and he's actually the, uh, the owner of the warrior form you probably have bought in the past some WSOs Mayan Brown you know the, the I think one of the biggest guy in uh, local marketing uh, also organized events uh, he's um, I actually I write a book together with him about uh, mobile marketing it's coming out soon and Mike for same He's, you know, he's, he probably known from uh, five, six years ago. He was very famous uh, to his big launches, butterfly and so. And um, 
uh, I had the opportunity to explain what I'm doing and since then uh, uh, we have a good relation. So if my daughter and son and wife and myself can achieve goals, there's no reason why you not can. We are not special people, we, we just stick to some principles and we take action. So, this leads me to where you probably, uh, the reason why you probably join uh, this webinar, um, which, how to get started with Lead Tracker Jack. And the first thing what um, you want to um, um, consider is which campaign to, to choose. And you want to choose this on three principles. The first is um, you want to choose a campaign and service what has an immediate need. So that people don't call around for the best price, but they want to get it solved now. And that the average price of the service is one hundred dollar or more. Higher or higher or better. And that you like that niche, you have some uh, you have some experience in it, or you, you it's attractable for you. Something what you want to uh, get more to know about it. So my question to you is, and type this in the question box: Do you already have a niche chosen? And if yes, type in it in the question box which niche uh, you have chosen. I see no, I see HVAC, I see no, roofing, not yet, not yet, no, nothing, dentist, carpet cleaner, credit repair, injury lawyers, yeah, that's a good one, pest control, that's a good one, money, have not chosen these, AC repair is a good one, plumbers is a very good one, Someone has multiple niches, plumbing, HVAC, family, industry, health, and spa massage, remodeling, construction, home maintenance, roofing repair is a good one, laser eyes, so there's a high ticket one, lawyers, yeah, if you can get those uh, clients. As they are high paying, they don't care about they have more they have money. Roofer, catering. Oh, I see a lot of your guys. They already have uh, electrician, plumber, house house painting is a good one. Electrician, raccoon removal. Yes, that is actually a very good one. Uh, contractor, weddings, event. So I, I actually I'm surprised that you guys uh, have already uh, such good uh, niche. So you you are pretty uh, ahead the curve. Tree removed. That's a very good one. So I so I did it by purpose to uh, mention those uh, niches so you get an idea about which one are good that which uh, follow those criteria. The only thing that you want to make sure is that you have a little bit of, uh, you know, you like that niche. Either you have worked in it or your family or something you, you're interested in because eventually you need to speak that language with those business owners, with those clients and come up with ideas to learn more about that niche. And once you are specialized in that niche, it's easy to scale it out to other locations for other businesses. And then you, and then you, then you have something that you can easily manage. Because if if you choose for ten different niches, you have to get to know about ten different uh, niches. And it's, it's harder than to use your existing market material and market in another location. So hopefully that makes sense. So I had also some examples uh, from niches. I don't, you guys don't need it. Uh, car repair. AC repair, heating services, painters are so, plumbers are so, roofers are so, septic tank cleaning I think is also a good one, 
because you know you, you call them up when there's a problem and tree cells I saw that also one of those uh, I saw tree removers so there's actually uh, a very good one so I'm, I'm pretty proud of you guys that most of you uh, have already a niche and to ready to uh, to market so which of you guys have clients to uh, pay for that niche so I, saw, I see some very good uh, niches do you also have clients to pay for your marketing I see three yes three clients yeah I see nope yes not yet no yes I have two clients in health spa uh, lots of clients well no my god yes no oh my god I see more yeses not yet not yet not yet yes Yes, um, Richard, he, he comes up with a good question. Why do I need experience or expert? You don't need experience, but you, you need to, um, I think it is easier for you to market in a niche which you like. If you hate dentists and you don't have any affiliate to them, it's a little bit harder for you to come up with a good website and, and all those kind of things and to speak within dentists. So if you, for example, worked in the past as um, plumber and now you want to market uh, for plumbers you speak their language you know what the problem is it's easy for you to come up with uh, videos and and ads will speak to the customers so there's an advantage for that it's not needed but it makes your marketing easier because sooner or later you will speak with the business owner and speak about you know what they are doing. So painter, yes. My client can't convert the leads. Yes, yes, that is uh, a very good point, John. And I'm not sure if we tackle it uh, today. Yeah, HVAC is also very good, Andrew. But um, um, you will notice that if you do, if you listen to the calls, that uh, local business owners are not trained to convert them well, to, or, or let's say some are they not, and that is why um, you want to uh, list to them in the beginning to see how how that conversion goes, and sit down with the business owners and come up with ideas to make that work. Okay. Uh, also, didn't you say there should be an urgent need for service? Yes. So, why is paint as good? Uh, because I think there's a need, uh, but I found out that uh, there are not too many painters, uh, painters as competition. So, um, and the uh, and the ticket price is high. So, uh, you, they are willing to pay for for those leads. I agree with you, maybe it's not an immediate need uh, so much, but uh, the painters are, are really a need for, uh, no, the, the customers are really a need for painters. So, locksmith, I know persons, I know I, I know person who are, um, who are doing locksmith and they are very successful with it. You, you imagine, you know, you're, you're, you cannot enter the car, you pick up your cell phone and you need help. So that is immediate need. So fine is an insurance. Um, I I don't know. It doesn't uh, fit in the immediate need. I think people uh, calling around for quotes. So that's. Uh, yeah, HVAC is a very good one. I agree. Um, if you live in an area like Florida, where they have a lot of HVAC, or uh, you know, if if your HVAC is broken in an area where you need it, you, you it's it, the price is not so important as 
when can you come so that is how you want to think So I, I created this sh uh, slide, do you want to reach your goal? And I see so many positive responses. I'm s super proud of you guys that I think 75% has uh, a client and, and took action. But the guys uh, who, who don't have any uh, campaign set up yet, you really want to get going. And I want to help you with that, but I need. I, I actually, I was looking for um, your 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 commitment. If I help you, that you take action. I cannot. I, I need for the for the person who don't have clients yet. I want to see in confirmation that you want to get helped. I see only. I'm ready. So only, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. I see about twenty halves now. So that's good. Okay. Okay. What you want to do? Let's go. Okay. But I, what you want to do is you want to set up three trackers numbers today if you haven't done it yet. Okay? And I will waive all the cost for each campaign. It used to be that uh, you pay for, I see done, so thank you, uh, Aaron, you, you, you had the curve. And uh, it used to be that you pay for $5 for each company or campaign each month. And that might have blocked you to uh, to get going. And I, you, you don't get successful t uh, with not taking um, with not taking action. Um, you it, it, you you might have the habit to make effort to take. I need everything have perfect. Before I I I, I prospect a new a, a new client, and um, uh, this is I, I wanted to share, tell you something. Okay, this is my first webinar which I present totally by myself, and I decided to do that yesterday. And I know that is not going perfect, and I. Um, I want to thank Lisa Allen, who was willing to share her GoToWebinar account to make this happen. And for, you need to have friends around you. And you don't uh, want to be afraid to make mistakes. And I do make mistakes, I'm sure. And now, you, you know, I thank for all your comments, but I do make mistakes. And uh, I will learn from it. And uh, if you don't have clients, and you want to uh, prospect them, and, you, and it's the only way to uh, to uh, to get new clients and, and and to learn from it. I was not trained well when I when was looking for new clients. I I I, I was not sure for myself. I didn't get the fulfillment uh, quite nailed down. I uh, was nervous, like I'm I'm now. Uh, eventually, uh, you will learn from it. And maybe the, the the worst thing what can happen is that the clients say, "Okay, I, 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 I I'm not looking for your service." So then you just ask, um, "What do you think? What can I improve? Why? What 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 was going on uh, that you don't decide that?" I can help you, so uh, you will learn it. And the next time you you feel you learn from it, the next time you feel uh, you know better, but, but you have a better understanding what you need to say and what you maybe you don't want to say. And um, um, it may, it might take you ten. 
10, 10 discussions with, with clients, but if you do 10 and you end up at end of the end of the day with one, how would that feel to have one customer after one day to only to prospect 10? You, you pick up your niche, you, you visit the, 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 the business or the client, you call them up and you take action. The only thing that you, you know for sure is that you don't get any client if you don't prospect them. And believe me, fulfillment is the easiest part. Once you get clients, you feel so motivated to uh, <laughs> Great, I love you. One of ten sounds like my dating success. <laughs> so it's it's kind of the, this kind of uh, things you which you probably if if you if you count your weight and uh, you probably get better over time, and that's what it is. Um, um, when I prospect a business owner, I probably have a high success rate. Not that uh, even with my bad accent. I'm, I, I, I know my stuff that well, and I, I, I know what they like to hear uh, over time. Um, they, I can convert them, and you will be able to because. Uh, so, so Tra Trevor asked me what's my conversion rate. Okay. I do enter the market since 2009. Okay, I got a reputation. And my customers are my salespersons. They share their success. I don't know when, but they. I get calls. Uh, can you do internet marketing for me? And and that this is the same as if your success as user of the lead tracker jack is my success. So once you get successful, you your friends will tell. You, you will ask what you're doing and they want to do it too so I don't need to mark them anymore so eventually that that will happen with you too once you get in a certain niche well known like, like HVAC or plumber they speak with each other they do well and they will share it and you and it, either you interview them so it's easy for you to make uh, take, pick up your cell phone Make a short video, put it on the website, or, sh or send it, send it to your 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 new customer, okay? And then that will help you to get more and more customers. Yes, I, I'm going to show how to set up a game. That's not a problem. But I wanted to have your confirmation that uh, you're taking action. And prospecting is the number one thing you cannot skip. Okay? and you don't need to be afraid uh, and you will be nervous like I am with this webinar but you will succeed eventually okay so that's one or two come across okay let's see if we can get to the other slide the computer is a little bit hanging at the moment so let's give him some time and let me read the <laughs> Alex, it's not about uh, dress code. <laughs> it's about how you come across. So let's uh, let's get started. I will demo how to set up an account uh, campaign. It's it's uh, it's very easy. Okay, it's it's super easy. Let's see if I can switch the screen. Okay, let me sign you out. This is the login screen. Um, so, there's a question done, so there will be not more monthly charge. Yes, so there will not be a monthly charge of $5 fee for each campaign if you order three tracks numbers today. That's correct. Okay, I, I'm not sure if I was clear in the email. But that is how it's uh, meant to be. Let's uh, get uh, the. Uh, 
the login. Okay, once you get login for the first time, if you buy three, the rest are for free. Yeah, the com you will not get charged for any campaigns or companies. What used to be five dollars per month, you still pay for the numbers, but not for the companies. Okay, so. There used to be three different charges. I, I actually, you can see it on this screen. Is a per minute charge, a per number charge, and a per company charge of us. I did that with the ID that I don't want to charge, let's say $49 per month when you get uh, started. So, what I found out is that uh, a lot of you guys. Uh, was a little bit hesitant to use the software and to set up uh, round robin and campaigns. Uh, what um, and it's, it's only eight dollars for a company, but it, 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 uh, there were only uh, you know let's say twenty twenty percent were using the, co uh, the software heavily, but eighty percent was not. It's not on this. It doesn't reflect uh, your guys, but that was a little bit the reality. So what I decided to do is to waive the five dollar per month per company um, if you take action. I I like more that you take action that I get those five dollars per month because eventually, if your success is my success. So that's uh, the reason behind that. So. When you signed up, and once you order more than three numbers, you will not get charged anymore for the company of or campaigns. So once you sign up, you can either choose PayPal or credit card. You, most of you guys, select uh, PayPal. Uh, uh, now I have to think. Uh, Uh, sales at Let's see if that works. And then uh, you agree. And then you have access to the portal. All the links are working out. You, when you, when in the beginning those links were not working, but now you have access to everything. So that I still get question uh, about uh, those five dollar charts. So you still uh, have to pay for the numbers, but not for the companies anymore. If you set up three uh, three or four numbers. Correct. So, you, you once you have ordered three tracking phone numbers, you do not need to pay for the companies anymore, and not not also for in the future, not uh, and not uh, not if you set up ten campaigns. I just want to um, I just want to um, get you going. Okay, that is my whole intent to get you going. Yes, if you have already three tracks in the past, you don't need to pay. Uh, uh, you, you, I, I, I would love that you take more action, but you, you, will, you are eligible not to pay any more any for the uh, campaigns. I just want to. Can I see three numbers up tomorrow? Yes. So tomorrow is fine. So now, the first thing that you want to do uh, is. Go to account my account and you just fill out some basic information. You can upload the logo if you have. Doesn't need to be. You can fill out some. Uh, this is your personal admin information. Just to get you know if you make invoice later or whatever, there's something uh, professional on that invoice. Local internet.
LLC. You know, Australia is like your country, your email. You can fill out your address. I live in Florida. In Boca Raton. You can show a certain phone number on the invoice if you want so that you can track those calls, whatever it is. You can have a slogan on the invoice and you can the report from uh, how many calls you get, you can send them out weekly. And here you can change your password to, to your belief. So now you're done with my account, okay? So the image size of the logo is, is maximum 250, 250. You don't want to exceed it, otherwise it doesn't show nice on the on the on the invoice. Okay, I'm reading the question. Uh, yes, uh, I try to record this call. I I didn't forget it, but go to webinar. It's a, this is your own company logo. You you want to come across as a company. You don't need it, but um, it's so I can I can show you the logo that I use. So now it is, and then you press save, update, and now you have a logo, okay? It needs to be maximum 250 by 250, and then it shows nice on the invoice. Yes, you can change the campaign after you set it, but I want first to cover this screen. It's very simple, okay? So you just fill out some information, you have the opportunity to upload your own logo. So the next step. This, this, if you campaign all campaigns, there's no campaign here, okay? So next step is add new campaign. You give it a name, and I, let's say we're going after the plumbers. Plum, plumber one, I, I can enter a phone number. Let's say I, I type in plumbers Bocaton and I grab a phone number. All that is so easy editable is ed editable, so you don't need to be afraid that you have to deal this forever. The only thing that it's, it stays same is the the campaign. Campaign it is actually the company name. I need to uh, change the name. So let's say A B C Plumber. Then the first name of the owner. It's now a required field. I saw that. I will change that. So let's say uh, Bob and uh, last doesn't matter so much. You can fill out email, you can fill out the address, all those things. You now there are now required field, but uh, I will change that. That it will not be required field because it's all not needed. It is handy to have it here if you know it. Okay, so you can fill out the time zone. Uh, Eastern time, and then uh, you can specify it's all not needed. And then now the company is added. Okay, so now you have created your first campaign. Let's read me uh, the question. Yeah, you can change everything on this screen. Okay, it's you, you are not. So that's the beauty of the system. Uh, you order a tracking number. And that's the only thing that uh, key stays the same. If you do uh, make a video and you show only the trackers number and you keep the company name generally, you have all the freedom that you uh, uh, going to do with that uh, with that call. Okay, I still get a question about the chart. Okay. Uh, let's see uh, if I can go to billing or so. Okay, but in the billing plan, you see that you get charged per minute. Okay, I think that's logic. You get charged per phone number, but you used to get charged per company per month. Once you set up three tracking phone numbers, this charge is going to 
be waived. Okay? So the $5 per month per company is going to be waived, waived once you set up three trackers for now. I hope that answered that question now. Then, the next step you want to uh, order new tracking campaign or numbers, new tracking numbers. And then this destination of the company, you can select here the company uh, campaign and then you select search available numbers. And then, then you uh, get examples of phone numbers which we, we, we provide you. You can see if you like the phone or you can even change the search numbers. You know, let's say in our company is 561, but let's search on 945. Okay, search available numbers. Now you get search for 9541, but actually I, I, I didn't want that. I want 561. 561. And then let's see what. You see those 561 numbers, and then I think I like this numbers. You select the number. Now you you need you uh, you can set up one campaign with three trackers number, but the trackers number is attached to a, at least one campaign. But you can change everything from a campaign. So now you have some uh, settings, recall, reading. You know, it is very uh, easy. Or you can upload your MP3 file. In the near future, we are working on that. You can even select uh, the accent. It's not working yet, but it will be very soon, male and female. So for United Kingdom and, and uh, Australia, I got a lot of requests for that. You can uh, change the whisper match. At this point, you cannot upload an MP3 uh, file, but uh, that, that's one thing that we're going to add in, in the future. Then you uh, update your setting. You can get an email alert for every phone call or only missed calls, and you submit. Okay. So that's all what you need to do to order a trackers number. And this is the trackers number we ordered, and that is where you want to work with on your marketing material, either in Cracklist, on a YouTube video, whatever, and you can tr and you track the calls. And you do this three times, either you order number, new trackage numbers, and you order, uh, select the, the, the campaign, or before you order a new number, you add a new campaign, and then once you have done that, you order a new trackage number for that new campaign. You want to make sure before you order NEMA you have the correct campaign selected. So the wrong problem, uh, I can go at the end a little bit, but I wanted to make sure this, uh, this was clear. And let's uh, read some questions because they flooded in. And I, I actually I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you asked so many questions, I can help you. But I have to scroll back a little bit to read them out. Yeah, you can change the name of a campaign. So the campaign, there's no excuse you cannot set up campaign uh, three phone numbers. It's always editable and get you going. If you decide, you know, a uh, plumber and it didn't work out, you can change it to AC. So it's very easy. So. Uh, you have to set up at least one company to attach a tracking number, but you can do three campaigns, one uh, three trackers number, or one campaign and three trackers number. I'm reading the questions. Okay, we'll do it this evening. Great, Trevor. You can change everything from a campaign. 
thanks for uh, well explained. Interest in the co-broker system. When do I get more detail? That's coming. Uh, how do you add the new company? Uh, Pedro, is that still uh, is that clear? So campaigns uh, add new campaign or add new company. I changed the name to campaign because uh, I saw that um, um, people were a little bit think I need to first have a client. You don't need to first have a client. You can get uh, new clients by offering calls. I'm going to show the reports a little bit later, uh, not tonight. I, I just want to cover the traction. I don't want to have you on the call uh, the whole uh, Sunday night. Uh, the, if you want to move a trackage number from one campaign to another, you want to set up, uh, you want to send an email to support at uh, leadtrackerjack.com. In the future, you're able to do it by yourself. Yes, you can have campaigns in the US and in Canada. So before you order a number, so in, in, in the in the campaign, and new campaign, it is asking which country, companies, and as well as in the number, new trackage number, you can specify the country uh, where you want to order the, the trackage number from. So those are the counts we are uh, at the moment called. We will add more countries as things as those comes available. But I cannot promise anything for for timing. Uh, a round robin trackage number is different than a trackage number for in a campaign. So let I think the, the the question is very valid. So if you want to set up round robin, you click a round robin. And then you click on Add Round Robin Number, and then it leads to this trackage number screen. Search available numbers. Select the number. Confirm, confirm this number. And then you can give it a name. Let's say. Uh, Plumber, plumbers, save this, and then in the round robin, let's add in a, in a, a new campaign. So we have more plumbers to uh, to target. Plumber two, five six one one two three four five six seven. Uh, company name is. Plumber uh, quick. You, you need to fill out uh, uh, those fields, and we will update that. But at the moment, it's our required field. Last two, and I think also address is uh, is required. Is also in Boca. Florida. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then the, the East Coast minus five. Eastern ad company. So if you now go to a round robin. You can, you see only uh, the plumbers, but you can edit it, and you can select. One second, please. Wrong problem. Click on this. See, I should be able to. This delete. This somewhere you should be able to add more.
more campaigns. Oh yeah, add campaign. So plumber tool. So now you have two uh, campaigns. It is one tracking number and the calls. The first call will get to the first destination number from the first campaign, and the second call with the same tracking number goes to the second campaign. And once you have a couple of calls in, you can uh, activate or pause uh, that campaign, depending on you know if you were able to convert that company to get you paid for those calls. Okay, let me read the question because they flooded in. Uh, Terry, uh, is it a good idea to do a round robin for your first one? I think so. Um, I think the first thing you decide which niche you want. If you don't have a client, the, the round robin uh, method works pretty good. Uh, you need, but it doesn't hold you up to to uh, to call a client to, to convert them. But you can show them that you uh, have some calls, and if you set up a couple of uh, business, and you tell them uh, I sent you five calls, would you like to continue to see them, or would you like me to send it to your competitor? I think you have a high chance to uh, to get a new client. How many business is ideal to add to the round robin? I think you want to have five calls for a business before you call, uh, call them up. So uh, that determines more the amount of uh, companies. So it, it is, uh, if you do local marketing, a local number is better than uh, in a 1-800 number. So, what do we get charged per call? Is, uh, is fi 5 cents per minute? Is that, I'm not sure if that answers your question for most countries. Yes, uh, I, I, I will try my best to have a replay, but I can't promise it because it's my first webinar and I did some trials and not every call uh, every tryout I did was successful for the recording. How do you choose the business? I, th I think we covered that in the beginning uh, with uh, the niche. Then I would uh, do some uh, Google search, see which business uh, are, are uh, doing some internet work, uh, have some clients, have some um, you know, have some size which are willing to pay for clients. Yes, you can add the numbers uh, tomorrow, but you don't want to wait too long. Yes, uh, Don, that is what I would say. So, I would, uh, I would. Uh, tell them with your whisper message that um, that you send those calls and then call them up when you have delivered about five calls and then uh, announce yourself that you were sending those calls and you, uh, they can, um, if they have some time to go over those calls and if they are interested to get those more calls uh, and once they are interested at every business owner which I have spoken with they need more customers. So that is not a problem. And when you when you are able to send them more customers, they are willing to pay for it. So Mark Halton has a lot of success with realtors. So he, he used Quacklist for that. And those are, uh, I don't know if you if you have uh, able to access the OTO, but he covered that quite well. I think the the whisper message is included in the round robin. So if you do add it, that has been added over time. I know it didn't; it was not in the beginning, but you can have you can set up a whisper message in the round robin now too.
Okay, I still get a lot of questions uh, faster than I can read. So the whisper message um, is working. Uh, it was not included in a round robin, but it's now which you can set. Okay, and it's very wise to do that for a round robin. Okay, well, whisper message is the receiver of the call will hear a short message, and the text actually is predefined, but you can change it to anything. It's call form and then your business name. So then the receiver of the call, the business, which let the, the the plumber business will get will hear that before the call start with a prospect, and so they know you have sent that call to that business, and you get credit for that. We don't need to really set up a website crack list. Not for set up the uh, the software. You need to uh, come up with a plan how to send those leads. Quacklist is a good one. Website is a good one. YouTube video is a good one. So there are different methods how you can send those leads and, and make those calls. Of make those prospects a call. Um, the invoices links are not um, on the invoices, but they are in the report section. So you can have sent a weekly report to the business, and the links from the recordings are included in the in the report. The call duration and the tag name are on the invoice. If uh, Jack Guller, there is a link within Lead Tracker Jack. Uh, I think if you go to Freakers Ask Questions. Uh, generally, how do leads leads fee schedule serve in magic? So the link is there. Somewhere I talked it was so there is not a fifty dollar deposit. That is from from that's from another software. That is not from Lead Tracker Jack. I, I don't ask you to deposit any money. Yes, when I set, you set up three uh, numbers, you are you're good for the discount. What does the caller here? The caller here, if you go to uh, numbers, new uh, all numbers, you added that. Uh, there is a greeting. The the caller here's the greeting. The receiver here's here's the whisper message. And you can enter the, the greeting, and then you say this call may record for training purposes. This is what I would do. Default, very standard, very well, uh, often used in the United States. Okay, thanks for your uh, Andre. Thanks for uh, your comment. So the initial software calls, I. Uh, if you have access to this, uh, you uh, you are one of the lucky ones, I think, because the price has doubled already. So, uh, Mike, good job, Travis. He's done with the three numbers now. So that was my goal for for today: that you know how to set up tracking numbers, and then uh, we can do more webinars to uh, go over the lead screen, invoice screen, and all kind of screens what you need once you got those calls in. Jake, you are the best. So, how many of you guys have at least three numbers now uh, uh, in the system? Yep, 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 I do, I do. I do, I do, I have five or six. Great job. Hi, hi, yuppie. We'll do it tonight, okay? I will do it within an hour. Okay, now, two and six to come. I do. I'm going to set up three right after the call. Charlie, good job. Man, you guys are good. I see action takers. 
I love it. Which of you um, are still on the fence and not uh, uh, are not ready to do it tonight or tomorrow? Who does need more help? Working on it now. Who need more help? I do, Mark P. Mark, can you uh, send me in uh, support take so so I, I know what you need? So setting up three tracker for now is easy, uh, in my opinion, but I can understand that you're still not sure how campaigns work and so, and maybe you jump in half uh, the webinar and you missed the first part. What works the best for you for getting immediate leads? Um, that's a very good question because um, to me, but I don't think uh, most uh, it will apply to most uh, of on the webinar is uh, Google AdWords and I um, I bid on the company name. If 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 you have the OTO and see how I do AdWords, I, I, one of the ninja tricks is that I, I I bet on the company name, and I get the media calls, and then the customers, the clients are so surprised that my system works, and I can expand on that. But um, if I would not be experienced in Google AdWords. I probably would do a YouTube SEO and um, I would do um, I would pick some uh, not high um, high uh, competing uh, keywords um, like I would say you know plumber with city name so and then uh, have micro workers uh, working on it to get it ranked. And there's a training video. Actually, it's not an it's not a completely training videos, but it helps when you uh, when you uh, watch it. Simple uh, YouTube SEO and simple pay per call. You want to look at YouTube SEO? That video from Mark Halton. It was doing in a sales webinar, but he explained them micro workers, and for a not competing keyword, it really works. Uh, I see Trevor you didn't buy um, uh, the OTO but if you um, go in the members area you still uh, I don't know if I have the link here I have to look it up uh, what the link is one second if I I was not prepared for that I don't know, I, I, I'm not sure if you can get this, but it is the OTO link. The OTO is still available and it covers uh, Google AdWords, it covers uh, Cracklist and uh, it covers um, um, mobile uh, Google AdWords. So I think you get a lot of value for it. and. If you do Google AdWords, this is a must. Okay, so I, I understand not all of you will do, but if you do, you you need this. This what I, I I'm teaching you is uh, is will save you so much money. Okay, sorry if you answered this already, but what about Bing Ads and Google AdWords? Okay. Um, I do Bing too, but I'm an 80-20% person and uh, I focus on the things, on the low hanging fruits and you want to start with Google and once you have a reach, you know, once you have used all uh, the capabilities, the, the, uh, the potential what is in Google, you want to look at Bing.
but it doesn't make sense to start with that. Okay, I'm in Hawaii. Have to see toll free numbers. I understand that actually is, is your general five nil discount applied for toll free numbers. Yes, three you need three numbers, okay? And the five dollars for the campaigns, not for the numbers. Um the quality score is a co quite a quite of a, it's a complex thing but again you need to look at things like average time on the website the bounce rate and the website is important for that and I cover that in the training and if you want me to comment on the website you can post a link uh, you can post a question in the in the Facebook group. Let's see if I can get the uh, get the link for the Facebook group, and then I will uh, put some comment on uh, on the on the on the website because it's if you if you have a, it is not only the AdWords, it's, it's, it's the website is important too. So there's a link to the Facebook. If you are not a member of it, uh, you want to do it now. And ask me those kind of questions. Okay, I still get a lot of questions. And then, uh, can I get 800 to target natural traffic for us who deal naturally? So you need to go to numbers, new trackers numbers and see what's available. And for United States and Canada are uh, there are uh, toll free numbers available. I, I I know I need to cover better uh, keyword analyzer and I use it a lot. Uh, I don't want to confuse uh, um, the tendency to, uh, today. Uh, I will uh, do another webinar for that. And if you have an immediate question, just uh, shoot uh, and support ticket. I will answer that. Please share low cost, high responsive keywords for AdWords. If you, uh, Kevin, did you buy uh, the OTO? I cover that. I cover that that point. And um, so, Kevin, did you buy that OTO or? So I can. Uh, how do we get built? You get built and uh, you get built end of the the month. Oh, Kevin, does that answer your question? Yes. So if you go to uh, edit campaign, you s you can grant a company access, okay? And it only works when they have an email address fill out. So click on this and then you can even uh, email already access. So you need to, let's say, you need, yeah, you need to have a unique email address, let's say company, compa, company email. Save it, then enable it, update, and now it creates an online account. And now you can select what they are able to see, which screen, and most time you want to all, uh, all, all, uh, all leads. And now you have the option to resend the company information, login information. You don't need the OTO to get the free campaigns, but if you do Cracklist, AdWords, mobile as a des desktop, and we probably will also cover some Ninja tricks for video, you want to buy it. Okay.
how much longer will OD you want to get it now? I, I cannot, I cannot. Um, you, you. Most of your guys got a very uh, affordable deal for Lee Tracker Jack. It's now doubled in price, and it will double in price soon. So, uh, if you, if the system doesn't accept credit card, uh, just send me a ticket. It, I will uh, put it to support at lead tracker jack dot com and I will uh, take a look at it. Let's see the Facebooks great answer your question. I try to catch up with your question if you Thanks for putting me on the webinar. You are thanks. Th thanks, Art. I need a letter understanding how to answer some of my setup clients, like workers for missed calls report. That okay, Richard. I, I there will be um, yes. The audio is still available. I I, I put it in the uh, uh, chat box, and you should. And you, thanks, Dan. And you should be able to see it all. There's also in the, in the members area and in Facebook. Uh, oh, the question goes still fast. When I have got number, I had Google each number. I, I did as to find where each number was located. Some numbers are in another town. Than one. Will there be a simple way to see where the number is located? Um, I, I try. Um, I, I don't get the question yet, but maybe I, I understand a little bit later. So please uh, send an email to me, and then I will read it uh, with some. When I uh, have some more time, I read it twice. Yes, uh, Mike. If you want the audio, you want to buy now. Do you have a Facebook group? Yes. I put the link in the in the chat box. I, I see my air code is represent, but is my city an air code? Is this clear? I see my air code is represented, but is this my city an air code? I think so. Three times twenty nine dollars uh, there is the audio in now, yeah. Okay, I can't see so you sorry yeah, Michael. Uh, send a, uh, an email to support at lead track and will reply to it. Do you turn off the campaigns in the weekends? For AdWords I I do when there is no option uh, to send an email. For setting an appointment, and you want to scale things up, you want to test it out. But first, I would only run a campaign during business hours. So after three numbers are set up, no final shots and set up. Correct, you're right, and unlimited. Okay. Uh, I know I skipped some questions. I feel bad for that. I'm trying to scroll up and see if I find some questions that I didn't have answered. If I did not cover your question, feel free to send me an email. Scrolling now. I I probably uh, missed some questions. If you still have a question, please uh, feel free to ask them uh, again. I don't see any new questions. Uh, okay, for a regular campaign, do you turn off the campaign on the weekends? 
yes, I do, but it depends if the website visitor can send an, uh, set an appointment. And I always test things out. But once, when you start, you want to turn it, want only have it turned on during business owners to save your money. First, you want to break even, and then you scale it up. If we set up round robin with three business, but later decide to only have one comic, can I keep the one? Yes, you can. You don't need to delete. You just pause it, and that is the beauty of the system. You just pause it, so you keep all the history round robin, and you just pause the one you don't want to set call. So this keep active. So you. It's very easy to manage. And you can turn it on back later on too. Do you have a backup in case of server? Yes, I do. When adding a campaign, why are the two campaign names field? Yeah, it needs to be campaign and complete. Okay, so uh, we will update that. What are the perks I need? What are all the perks I need to have to get started besides the OTO and three numbers? If you have lead tracker jack, uh, but I suppose you don't need more than the OTO and three numbers to to get started. But I I recommend uh, you get clients and need more numbers. Uh, well, toll free I think is it's, when you order this is all in the system. Um, I I think it's, it's um, I forgot seven eight cents or so. If you have two, um, if you have two numbers assigned to a company, how assign the other to another company? You have two numbers. If you have two numbers assigned to a company, how assign the other to another company? At this moment, you need to su submit a support ticket. I can do it on my end. Eventually, you are able to do it by yourself. We will cover uh, mobile AdWords in the next uh, training session. Do you set up Google AdWords campaigns for needs before you have a client? If I do round robin, um, you can do to generate some calls and show you're able to to generate calls. But I would uh, bid on low hanging fruit like the company name or an, an uh, long tail keyword so it doesn't cost you a lot of money. Um, if you uh, mobile friends uh, with benefits about the same as uh, uh, mobile AdWords, if you need uh, AdWords, uh, desktop AdWords, you know, and Quacklist, you want to buy the audio. Now you cannot uh, switch around round, round robin numbers and trackers numbers. The most easy way is just to order new trackers numbers. It's just, it's, I might do that in the future, but now it's, it's too too complicated to switch around numbers for the user. Yes, is it possible to track perform from YouTube? Would appreciate training on that. Yes, it's all possible. Okay, I, I need to cover that uh, in detail. Um, George follow again and see I purchased that now I so you, if you only do mobile AdWords from Stephanie training that is covered in the OTO and you only do that you don't need that if you want desktop AdWords or correct list you want OTO and I, I guarantee the, mo the desktop AdWords, but I cover even the bit, the keywords, but also apply for mobile. If you do AdWords, you you want to take a look to my training. Yes, the charges are more for for mobile number, the destination number. Yes.
you can uh, the weak reports you can uh, they, they go to you but you can specify also for the for the customer send me an email for that and is there anything else you need for me to prove to you? No, I, I, the only thing what, I, what you want to do is set up three trackers numbers. How many calls per week or month will justify a round robin approach? Um, if you speak in justify, you know, the, the, the price for numbers is very low, so justify very easily. Um, you want to do your marketing that you generate about five calls before you go to the prospect. The, 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 the OTO training tool has been done, the, the Google AdWords and the Cracklist and one will follow. Can we buy one number round robin and yes, yes you, yes you can. You can buy one, one round robin and two regular for today's day, yes you can. Three numbers done, Rick, you are the best. Thank you so much, Victor. I really appreciate all your guys' questions. This makes me doing the webinar much easier. So the so the first three names for today, yes, yes, that will, George, yes, that will get you going, and I, I, I want you to use those numbers. Before you sign in for the first time, do you have to buy a number for, uh, you enter the billing information, and from that you're going to order the, you set up the campaigns, and you order the tracking numbers, or you set up a round robin. You, you want to first set up the campaigns, and then either you buy a tracking number or you set up a round robin number. Do you have a schedule for future seminars? I don't have that set up, Mike. Um, I felt uh, quite a bit of nervous for today's webinar, and I wanted to get you uh, uh, get get uh, your feedback on how I how you uh, accepted it and if it was worth your time and based on that I, I, I feel more confident to do more. Do you, you don't need both campaign and round robin. No, you don't need. Your round robin is when, when you set up uh, that you want to split the calls to multiple companies. If you want to have that the call only go to one company, you don't need round robin. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, seven M's, you're doing good. Thanks for your feedback, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know. Um, I, I I feel very sorry for the people in the United Kingdom, uh, Tony. Um, I I felt uh, doing a, a webinar in the morning on Sunday was not a good time. So I I, I will think of it. I got a lot of people from the United Kingdom and um, Australia, and I know it's not a good time for you guys. Rachel, thank you. Thanks, uh, Virginia. So you did answer if we get charged for the first campaign. Um, all the billing in the past, I, I, I cannot uh, turn back, but if you order three numbers, you will not get charged anymore. Great time for Australia. Oh, that's good. So only the United Kingdom has a problem. The best quick start method, I, I expected actually that question. Um, so you want to set up it, uh, you want to 
select a niche. I, in the beginning of the webinar, we went over that. Okay. You you either uh, so you want to set up either with real clients or you want to set up campaigns. And if you don't have a campaign, you the quick start method I would use is that was, but I understand if you are not experienced with that, I would use either Quacklist or YouTube to generate calls and approach them. And I know getting clients to me is not the most funny thing, you know. It's it's um, it's I like more that come to me than I have to, uh, that, that, but that will not happen. Okay. So you have to go out to get new clients, but actually, once you have a client, it does not motivate more than this that you get paid and you have to deliver. And in the Facebook group, there are so many people around you which can help you with fulfillment that you don't need to be afraid for that. So getting clients, this is what you need to do every day. And if you don't ask, you will never get a yes. And how often you do prospecting, the higher the chance you get clients. And I think if you prospect 10 clients per day, you will have at least one client per day. That's what I think. Okay, I still got some questions. Yes, it does also apply to toll-free numbers. So the you need to have three tracking numbers. Toll-free or doesn't matter. Um, I will try the replay. I cannot guarantee it. I did some test uh, uh, webinars today and some crashed it, so I cannot guarantee it. I feel sorry for that, but this, I will, I know I have turned it on, but I also are depending on go to webinar. Yeah, I will cover keyword tracking in another uh, training session. I love it. Actually, that's one of the base reasons why I developed this software, because I do so many AdWords. Uh, for my clients and I needed to know how the keyword was tracked and which keyword generate calls. Uh, I can help you so much with it, I know it, but I need to schedule another training for that because it will confuse for people who don't use keyword analyzer. Yeah, uh, cold calling direct mail, you know, there's several ways to do it. Uh, um, actually, tomorrow I will uh, I will promote software for do uh, lead generation. Uh, you can take a look at it if you like. There are several ways to find clients. Yeah, I saw uh, I saw uh, Australian numbers. I have to. Uh, I can only uh, offer what, what my source has available for Australia. Australia. Are there any payment buttons on client invoices? I will uh, cover invoice uh, later. Uh, the, the goal of this uh, webinar was that you set up um, uh, campaigns and so you generate some calls. And once you have those calls in, then comes invoicing, keyword tracking, all those kind of things. I cannot offer, I cannot cover too much. You you will get uh, uh, you will get confused for or the, the, the ones who didn't start get confused. So I think. Uh, Pricing, how do I decide to unfair pricing per lead? That is actually a good question. And uh, there are a couple of answers to that. First of all, you need to feel comfortable what you ask. Second one is under the help. There is, I think, uh, 
on the figures ask question there is uh, lead fee scale for server magic it doesn't download file where you can see how much they pay over there uh, how much says server match charge their uh, business uh, you can s look at how much the clicks calls in AdWords and uh, based on that what your calls are and what people are willing to pay for the click and um, another way is you know if the average uh, sales price is let's say $200 uh, and you determine they have a 50% margin so the business is probably willing to pay 10 to 20% of the sales price so there are a couple of things to consider For AdWords tracking, I use Lead Tracker Jack. I haven't found anything better. I know it sounds a little bit, uh, uh, you know, speaking for myself, but there are certain things which you only need for AdWords tracking, and all other things confuse me. So I have customers set up another system and customers like no need to know if there's a payment button or link in the invoice. In Lead Tracker Jack, I'm not going to tell how, but I, I, I'm going to tell that's uh, possible. You can set up automatic billing via via PayPal. So that either you send them an invoice and they pay that invoice or you hook up your your PayPal account with the client's PayPal account and everything got paid by itself. There's nothing easier than that. Jerk, you are the best. Do you use AdSense for mobile? Are you using AdSense or AdWords? Um, I I don't use any. I did uh, back in in uh, I think ten years ago. I use AdSense. I don't use it anymore. It's, uh, it's there are much better ways to make money. Um, do you need a website for Google AdWords? You don't need a website. You can also send it to a YouTube video, or um, uh, to make a mobile website. There are software around which is very easy to make a website if you only do mobile AdWords. Yeah, we are working on email leads. Uh, it's not a one-two-three thing, so it takes some time. I'm really excited about that because I know I, I want to use it for myself too. It's not done yet, it's coming. Uh, quality score and how it depends in part and how long the visit stays on your website. But I thought you said we don't need a website. Uh, so yeah, I answered that question for a YouTube video. You don't need. How do we know that tracking numbers are not in use? Uh, those tracking numbers are when you order them, they are yours. Yeah, I'm not an AdSense guy, uh, Mark. Um, it's Mark Halton's more uh, thing, I think. Um, so, it. Uh, I'm not a penny guy. Uh, I think. Uh, that's, I think that's the answer. 
where do where but, but where do you get the numbers? So when you go to numbers, all numbers, or new numbers, new trackage number, you can order them here. It's very easy. And those numbers, when those get shown, they are allocated to you at this moment. Nobody else is ordering them. When you leave this screen and you don't pick a number, then somebody else can that order the number. You don't, need, you don't need to be afraid that somebody else is picking one of your numbers. Um, I, I, I don't know if some of my students are successful with Facebook ads. Um, I'm going to learn a tool. I bought all the tools. I didn't have time to implement it yet. Um, I, 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 it's like it's like this 80 20 percent rule. You want to first learn Google and then Bing and then you know Facebook. That's what I think. Eventually, Facebook will be more become more powerful over time. But at this point, I think you don't need it to get started. Yeah, what if there are no numbers in my area? That is possible, Mary. Sometimes you can order an area code close to that, or you want to check one more time with change search numbers, see if you get some better results. Uh, otherwise, you send support, and then I can see what I can find something. But sometimes, and there are no local numbers, and you want to select a local number close to what you're looking for. Facebook more powerful than Google. It might be over time, in maybe in five years. That might be George. Facebook is Facebook is growing fast. You 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 will not believe what I'm saying, but in, I didn't use Facebook uh, in November last year, and I started now for I used it for a half year, I, and. Uh, is so much growing, but uh, uh, what do you say? Um, it's it's growing because I do a lot of internet marketing, and your guys are on Facebook doesn't mean that the local business are on Facebook. They don't, they might don't have time, but their customers they might be on Facebook. So then you can still send traffic to a business site. I know, uh, uh, Kevin. Do you have the OTO, or you only have the the PDF? Because the PDF is pretty basic. I think the webinar was is pretty good. It's still easy to implement, but the information you got, uh, the information you got from the webinar is 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 really good. I promise you. I got so much feedback on that. And it's all based on the one million I spent. I, I'm not. I, I don't fake my numbers. Thank Will. Appreciate it. It's my first one. So um, again, and I wanted to say you. You know, I'm not trained in doing webinars. But some of you guys are not trained to prospect new clients. Um, I'm sure um, you uh, you uh, you will succeed when uh, you you do it do a couple of times and you get better and better and better and you if you you do probably you only need ten clients to have a business and I don't see any reason why you couldn't do it. You know much more than any business owners about. Uh, uh, internet marketing. Yeah, Oral, I, I, I need to speak with you about that later. Uh, yes, Kevin. Um, that is actually what I think uh, getting new Clients is, is actually the the thing what 
makes our job difficult because we don't like to prospect. Most of us doesn't uh, like that so much, but it is needed to 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 be successful. And if, uh, for for example, if you don't have clients, that you need to go over that that hurdle and we and reading more and buying more products and all those excuses from you know I'm not ready doesn't help you and that is part of the reason why I waived the campaign and uh, the five dollar campaign cost to, to take that to leave to take off that excuse I, now you have three tracking numbers you pick your niche now you can go prospecting and next step is um, um, I, I will promote some software where you can find some niches so that will help I'm working on all powerful software that makes it easy but I don't want that you wait on those things before you prospect you need to call up people you need to if you have clients you need to work on your uh, need to work on your testimonials you want to share them all those kind of things and uh, eventually it will become very easily but when you start it, 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 it is it is one of the things where you have to work on there's no taking action is just is uh, important Yes, uh, Colin, I, I agree. Be confident in, in the fact that small business owners need what you have. Um, everybody, every business owner needs more clients. So if you can provide that, you have something very valuable. And I guarantee there are no business owners around you who do know more than you about bi uh, internet marketing. And if you have problems with fulfillment, uh, put a link in the Facebook or put a question in the Facebook group, and there are people around you who can help you. I know, I I know sources for you if you need a nice website. So it's 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 not about fulfillment; it's about getting those clients. When but. When I put three numbers, how do I get them for free? You get the campaign for free, not the numbers itself, but the campaigns where they are attached to. The campaigns are used to five dollars per month, so that get waived. Mark, I hope that answered the question. You might add jump a little bit later on the webinar. Uh, there are two OGO. Uh, webinars completed and the third one will be uh, next month and Richard Geen uh, Dank and that was, I agree I agree I met with a chef today that runs his own business and he knows there's absolutely nothing about his very, yes it's, it's not it's not surprisingly that they know nothing. We we are reading every day about it, and we study on it, on it. And and those business owners, they need to make money. They need to manage their team. They need to. Uh, I have a local business too, and I know what's involved in that. So they just can doing that stuff. Can we get sound of Craigslist as that will? Um, there's a webinar from um, Brian Anderson which shows you some examples. And you know, you, if, if if you want to see some examples, you, you want to go in your niche and you you take a look at your Craigslist itself. Uh, I still got question about the OTO. Uh, let me. I don't know if it's still in the chat box for you. Yeah. 
here's the link if you was looking for that. Mark, uh, there was a chart for, let's go to the account billing. There was a chart for the minutes, for numbers, and company. And if you buy more than three baggage numbers, that chart for the company get waived. So there's no excuse to uh, to get started. Steve, I th uh, thank you so much for joining. Is there another level of Facebook access with the audio? No, there's no uh, other level. Same Facebook group. And I'm very proud of that uh, it's fast growing and see you uh, active uh, in the group. And and uh, we can share all uh, our, our information. And that is what I meant. That you have to go out, prospect by yourself. But if you have any problem, just drop your question in the Facebook group. And I will uh, monitor too. So the fulfillment part should be eventually easy. You should have enough help around you. Uh, so all, if you order more than three tracking numbers, there will be no company uh, uh, charge anymore. If you have seven on your account and seven campaigns, you will not pay for seven campaigns anymore, only for the numbers. I hope this answered the question. Uh, I appreciate your time. It's now, uh, I think we are on a webinar for uh, one hour and 45 minutes. And I know it is Sunday night, uh, at least for me. I think in Australia it's uh, another day. So I, uh, uh, I appreciate uh, all your time and thank you for your uh, comments in the in the chat box and I hope uh, thanks George thanks Mark thanks C thanks uh, Monte I hope I spelled it right uh, thank you all uh, for your feedback and uh, did give me confidence to uh, do some more webinars in the future and uh, thank you so much uh, for your time. If you have a question, um, and I didn't answer your question, I feel bad for that. There are two ways that I uh, can answer that. It's either via the Facebook group, if it's a general question, or if you have a very specific uh, question, just uh, send a support ticket, and I will, uh, will take a look at it. Thank you all uh, for your time, and I appreciate uh, you could make it to this webinar.